Hello, we're going to be making an orthographic projection of this model, which is the caster wheel. An orthographic projection will tell us the front view of this object plus a side view of this object. I have an example already done on AutoCAD. If you notice right here, we have our front view and then we have our right hand side view. And we're going to talk how to make and how to create this views in AutoCAD. So we're going to start by deleting this section. We're going to delete this section. We're going to just leave this uh, circle for now. This circle, the diameter of this circle is uh, one inch. So this is a one inch diameter. I'm going to go circle, snap to the center. And the diameter of this circle is going to be 1.5. We're going to repeat the command. The next one will be 4. We're going to repeat the command. The next circle is going to be 3.75. So now we have our front view of our caster wheel. If we wanted to do a top view, we could do a top view, but the top view and the right hand side view will be almost exactly the same, so it will be kind of redundant to have that one. So we're going to just focus on a view for our right hand side view. An orthographic projection means to project this view into another position next to it at right angles to it. So we're going to just draw, for demonstration purposes, we're going to draw just lines to give us those points of intersection of those areas. So we need to select all these and the distance of those lines are, is, is not important. All we need to know is that we have those lines projected onto the next view. So there's our, all those points are projected to this area. Now we need to do is establish our distance from here to here. And we go with a line. And we go about two inches away from it, somewhere around here, to the intersection point right there. Now we need to establish our width of our wheel, which is 1.5 on that. So we're going to go offset. The distance is going to be 1.5. Select this line. Now we have our wheel. Oh, we forgot to project one of those lines, this one right here. So now we have those lines. So we have everything already there. Now those lines, it's kind of redundant to have them here. So we're going to trim them. So we're going to go to the Trim tool. We're going to use this line and this line as a trimmer. And then we can select all these lines to be taken away. We don't need them anymore for now. So now it gives us all the transition points, all, all the points that are being projected to this view. Now to get the webbing on this side, we're going to draw a line that goes from the midpoint to the midpoint. And we know that the webbing is a quarter of an inch on each side, so it's a full half an inch. So we're going to offset. The distance is going to be 0.25. And then we're going to offset this line to the right and to the left. So now we have the webbing on on this area. Now the step for the fillet down here, there's a fillet right here that you don't see on the front view. It is going to be a quarter of an inch in. So now we have uh, all the points that we need to have our geometry. So we're going to go from this point right here to this point right there. It gives us the taper. We go from this point to this point and repeat the same thing from here to here and from here to here. Now these lines are, are getting a little complex now so we need to start cleaning up our area. So this line right here is not needed any longer so we can delete that one. We can delete this one also. We can trim these lines right here. We don't need them. We also don't need these lines right here, these two lines right here. But we need to establish our point right here where the recess this thing. This is not flush with this area right here. This edge and the inside hub, is they don't match. So we're going to go and use the offset tool again. Offset. Distance is, I'm going to go offset. 0.6875 and we're going to go from this side over and the same thing to this side. 
that will give us this the little offset down here that the surface has. So we can trim it. Just clean it up. And this lines we don't need anymore. So now we're going to go with the fillet tool, a radius 0.125, multiple. Now we can add a fillet on this point, on the inside of these, and the same thing here. And we also need them here, and here. Now these lines are in axis. We don't need them. This line also we need to move it over to this point. And the same thing with this one. We need to repeat that. We can trim them or just select them and move them for the intersection right there. Now this line and this line we don't need them anymore. And if you notice we have basically our right hand side view with exception of a line from here to here and a line from here to here. But in an orthographic projection all these lines that we have done here will become hidden lines because we're going through this view looking into this detail inside of it. So all these lines will be a hidden line. They're going to be transferred into the hidden line layer. Now this is how it's going to pretty much look as an orthographic projection. You can add a center line to it from the center over. So that will be our center line. But if you were to dimension this, you couldn't use the hidden lines to dimensions. One of the rules is that you don't dimension to hidden lines. So the best way to do this is to to convert this view into a section view, a full section view. And I'm going to turn in my construction, my cutting plane layer on. And I have this layer, this line already created on it. But if you convert this into a section view, anything that touches the cutting plane will become an object line. So now we can convert this back to the. We need to convert all these lines back to our object lines in order for us to do any dimensioning or any detail into it. Let's see if we selected them all already. So this one will be going to the object layer. So now this is more like it. Now you, you would put your section um, lines here into this one and this one. Now it's going to look like that. Now you can actually use the layer for the dimension and you can actually put dimensioning into this area. Now you can use those dimensions to add the details onto it. But we're not going to go and spend too much time on that one. All I needed to show you is that a orthographic projection it takes from one view and it goes to the next one. The dimensioning is going to be explained to you later on a on a different video. But basically this is what a orthographic projection of the wheel uh, will look like. Thank you very much. I'll clean this up, take those dimensions off, and we'll leave it like that.